The expectations of a coach, the more clearly they're defined, the more successful your coaching program will be because it allows your coaches to stay focused on the work that matters. That somebody, and I'm in, assuming it is all of you, have defined what those expectations are. Now, where the trick was in my question, and I was waiting for you to ask this, was does it need to be the same school to school? And that's what you were thinking, wasn't it? Because I could see you already having that conversation. I would say there are some common expectations school to school with variations school to school dependent on the needs of a particular school. However, in a school, if you would ever be so fortunate enough to have more than one coach, there should be consistency among what those coaches are doing. So if you ever get there, you know what? In some cases, you already are there because you have multiple people serving in support roles, even though they may not necessarily have that title. So as I think about this, let me just go to a high school as an example. In a high school, we have division chairs, right? Do we hold common expectations for what those division chairs do? Is there an advantage to holding some expectations in common? So I just put that out there as an example. I want some opportunity for schools to create and be responsive to their own needs, but I also want some consistency so that school to school to school, there's an opportunity to measure the effectiveness of coaching and coaches. And without some consistency, it's difficult to do that. The decision you make about who your coaches are, what you expect of them in terms of both services as well as job functions, will define to some degree what kind of expertise you're looking for as you're selecting coaches. And it will also simultaneously define the professional development needed for the coaches to become expert in this work. Too often, we hire a coach because the coach is a masterful teacher. We give the person a new title. We say thank you very much and send that person on his or her way. And hopefully today, more of those folks are doing something beyond what I did, which was to sit in the lounge and read the paper and drink coffee for the first three weeks of school until I got bored to death. But the reality is without expectations and clarity, there isn't direction. There isn't a way to decide what you will do and won't do. And even for individual coaches or coach supervisors to know where the coach's strengths are and where the areas are for ongoing continuous development of coaches. Getting clear about the expectations is essential and it is a jurisdiction responsibility to do that. What do you expect? And you can't even do that unless you can go back to your goals, purpose, rationale, and what the services are. Because these job expectations are defined by the structure of that program. 